Assalamualaikum and a very good day to Dr. Kamarudin and everyone. My name is Ayani Fitria Binti Riki from Unit Test PSLB1 and I'll be presenting about the topic profession and professionalism from the subject philosophy and education in Malaysia. So first of all, what is profession and professionalism? The definition of profession is that it refers to an occupation that performs an important social function. Kamus Dewan in 2005 defines a profession as a special field of employment that requires education and competence as well as high skills and special training such as law, medicine, and teaching. A real profession is a field that has characteristics such as the importance of intellectual skills, adequate vocational training, services required by the community, individual and group autonomy, quality of services and a separate organization to manage matters related to education by Leo Berman in 1956. Okay, so next is the ne definition for professionalism. It is a characteristic or attribute found among members of the profession. According to Ornstein and Levine in 1993, there are four attributes in a profession. Namely, members need to master in-depth knowledge, competence, and expertise in a particular field. The existence of a code of ethics to control the behavior of members and the consent given to a profession by society to operate. Professionalism also refers to the qualities that indicate a person is capable, highly skilled, or the manner of execution of something as it should be found on or performed by a professional, by Kamus Dewan in 2005. Okay, so next is the practice of teacher professionalism. There is three in the practice, which is self-domain, profession domain, and social domain. Okay, first of all is the so social, is the self-domain. This domain refers to the existing self-worth of teachers. It should be developed so that teachers can make a more effective contribution to the teaching profession to achieve the goals of the national education system. The values that are related to self-domain is that art are belief in God, trust, sincerity, knowledgeable, affectionate, patience, courtesy, competitiveness, creativity, endurance, resilience, active, healthy, interpersonal skills, intrapersonal skills, voluntary spirit, efficient, considerate, and fair. Next is the profession domain. It refers to values that should be practiced by teachers in carrying out their duties as a professional teacher. The values that is emphasized in this domain are patient towards profession, skill, integrity, exemplary, pra practicing teamwork, proactive, creative, innovative. And next, the third one is the social domain. Teachers play a role as so social socialization agents and human capital generators in society. The values in this domain are harmony, social skills, community spirit, patriotism, and love for the environment. Next is the interpretation of the Malaysian standard model. Okay, so the letter G in the center of the model circle symbolize the teacher intended by country. The three overlapping small circles symbolize the three aspects of competencies that need to be mastered by teachers, uh, namely the practice of the values of professionalism, knowledge and understanding, and P and P skills. The large circles represent the basis for determining standards and requirements and the globe in the center symbolize the quality of world-class teachers who are responsible for developing first-class minded human capital so this is the picture of the Malaysian 
teaches standard models, model standard guru Malaysia SGM. Okay, next is the enhan enhancement of self professionalism. Improving the standard of professionalism enhances the prestige of the teaching profession. High dignity will make the professionalism of the teacher highly praised and have high value and quality. If we want to raise the standard of teaching professionalism, teachers need to be prepared. Such readiness in, is in terms of an understanding of a teacher's real responsibilities and or adherence to ethic and willingness to accept any changes. It will produce a quality teacher and improve the level of professionalism of their teaching. Okay, next, uh, the steps that can be taken to improve the level of teacher professionalism. The first one is teacher professionalism improvement course. Professional skills are important for all teachers because these elements encourage and help teachers to deliver lessons to students. One of the main effort is to improve teaching techniques in the classroom. This can be done by mastering some basic methods such as conducting research on the effectiveness of their teaching and learning activities in the classroom, as well as using reflection techniques with self-assessment skills to improve teaching and learning skills in the classroom. To develop skills, teachers can take professional development courses organized by any department that is related. The second one is doing research and writing. It aims to find weaknesses or problems found in the education system or teaching from a teacher. Some examples of problems that can be identified in the research process are the use of teaching aids, teaching strategies and methods, and management of group activities. Furthermore, Actions Research aims to detect conditions and problems in educational or social practice. Okay, so the third one is the effort towards self-development. Teachers need to improve their self-development. Such development will involve the formation of self-concepts and influencing the way a teacher works. Also, teachers who have a good self-concept such as confident, trusting, and have good self-values will help teachers to perform their responsibilities more effectively. This will improve the quality of a teacher's way of teaching. And lastly, be aware to the latest educational and technological development. Teachers need to equip themselves with various knowledge and skills as well as being aware to the latest educational development. Teachers must always develop knowledge from time to time according to the latest development. In addition, every teacher must always be prepared to accept any changes in the education system to, so that their knowledge is up to date. And Next is for the life is the topic for lifelong learning. Lifelong learning enables a teacher's knowledge to be more dynamic. This knowledge will enable the teacher to convey a lot of information to the students. The information about knowledge that is being delivered will create students' confidence and trustworthiness towards the teacher. There are seven types of fields which is the first one, the reading culture. It means to always acquire interest and diligence in reading with the aim of increasing knowledge and de developing one's own thinking. Next, the thinking culture. It means by always strive to improve and enrich one's own thinking through the process analysis, synthesis, and criticism. Then there is the creative uh, there's the learning culture. It is by always strive to add and develop knowledge and skills through various learning process. Next, creative culture by always strive to spread knowledge or skills orally or in writing as in contribution for the benefits of community. Then, deliberation 
It means by management and decision making process on education methods is carried out by consensus or deliberation in a team. And then the reflection, it means by self-assessment process, considering the findings from educational case studies in order to realize and understand its strengths and weaknesses. And lastly, e-learning. Due to the rapid development of science and technology, various types of education have been introduced for the use in educational institutions to address current demands and future challenges. Among the new types of education introduced are distant education, uh, or, co or can be called as distant learning, computer education, open education, radio and television education, and online tutorials. Next, the summary for this topic is that the Ministry of Education has implemented various efforts to produce quality teachers and ensure that they will remain to be quality in the national education system. Professional teachers need to strengthen their knowledge and skills in advancing the world of education in Malaysia. This is the question for this topic, which is enhancement of self-professionalism can increase the prestige of the teaching profession. What are the steps that can be taken to improve the level of teaching profession? And this is my reference for this topic. That is all for me. Thank you for listening.